Hey Physique Freaks, how's it going? Scott Tuzana, MetabolicMasterpiece.com. It's Wednesday, December 16th. I am on cloud nine right now after yesterday's workout. If you haven't watched the footage from uh, from the training session at the Flexplex in London, Ontario, you gotta do yourself a favor. Hardcore training gym. Check that footage out. Today I'm gonna get some footage from our chest and tricep workout. As well as every meal that I eat for the day. Continuing to crush this cutting phase once again. Thanks for sharing this journey with me. Woke up at 6.30, grab myself a cup of coffee with a drop of 2% milk. Then around 8 o'clock, brought Chief out for a walk. Got back just before 9 o'clock, had breakfast, two third cup oats, three quarter cups of blueberries, and a scoop of milk chocolate protein powder. Met up with Mitch for a muscle activation technique session. He spent uh, most of the time working on my shoulder, felt amazing. Uh, got back home and grabbed a quick little snack before hitting the gym, a Fiber One bar, just a, a little fuel to get me through this workout. And we started things off with a cable chest press, doing some drop sets here. So for the first set, aiming for about 12 reps, lowering the weight, doing as many more reps as I can, lowering the weight, as many more reps as I can, lower the weight one more time, do as many more reps as you can. So that's a total of four sets, then just moving on to the next exercise. Um, I'd say for most of those sets, the second, third, and fourth set, uh, hit about six to eight repetitions. Really, uh, again, if you've been following my videos, I freaking love this machine. The tension is just so unique. Uh, the cables, I mean, they make it, they just kind of make your arms shaky, just the balance, the stability of it all, but the tension on the pecs is just unreal. Sporting my new Ontario Muscle shirt. If you saw yesterday's video, I was working out with Jeff from Ontario Muscle. Look him up on YouTube, Ontario Muscle, and on Instagram, as Ontario Muscle. A very comfy unisex shirt here. It's a really nice material. Really uh, fits incredibly well. Not the best lighting here, but still seeing some good vascularity. Grind it out. Big push. Great way to start the workout. Uh, just lots of tension, lots of focus. And here we got Paul, training with Paul today. 51 years old. And I just wanted to show this video, record this video to show him. Just we're starting to see more shape and detail in his arms. But what I want you to see is look at that focus. Look at that drive and determination. He is in the zone. I'm telling you, this guy's like crazy, freaking dedicated, hooked right now and uh, calling me the cookie monster, <laughs> keeping me on top of my game as well. So after the drop sets there, we uh, did some dumbbell bench pressing, aiming for six to eight reps, going with some nice controlled form here. Once again, feeling the tension, feeling the stretch in the pecs, working within my own personal range of motion. So not dropping too low. I want to keep all the tension on my pecs. Good squeeze. Felt good. That last rep felt really, really good. So we did three sets there, six to eight reps. Then we moved on to the Atlantis machine, incline bench here, and we're doing rest pause sets. And this is Mike. Mike, I believe, is 53. So having fun training with these freaking pumped up, energized 50-year-old bros kicking butt in the gym. Mike's got some great strength. Look at that focus as well. Look at a good controlled form. Quick little rest. Really tough doing the rest pause. Uh, you want to make sure you have a machine that uh, it's easier to get it out of the hole. So Paul is giving him a little spot here. Would be much tougher if we were using dumbbells. So I prefer to use some sort of machine or a barbell uh, when it comes to the rest pause sets and the chest exercises. So we're going for about 10 reps on that initial set, and then as many more as you can with just a 10 second rest there. Look at that, nice controlled negative. I mean, these guys are friggin' awesome, so much fun. We had a blast training together today and uh, talking a lot about my experience at the Flexplex yesterday, talking a lot about form, technique, even nutrition diet, the cutting phase, things I've learned through this cutting phase as opposed to previous cutting phases. So it's just, it's fun to share the experiences that we're having together. Um, challenges that we faced over the year. Mike has been dealing with a shoulder issue for the past few years and uh, just talking about how that's impacted his his training, especially when it comes to chest, uh, training chest and bench pressing. Um, he's had to find some alternative, just 
working around injuries and uh, just continuing to to build yourself up even though you face these challenges so that was fun there doing some just higher rep cable flies just nice controlled form that was it for chest now we're moving on to triceps really enjoy this machine it's like a skull crusher but uh, just a different kind of resistance with that style of cable it's a great stretch in the bottom again there we got Paul showing some details in his arms I freaking love it making some great progress here telling you man can't wait to save this guy in the spring next three to four months is gonna be ridiculous for him so we did three sets there, going for eight to 10 reps, and now we're moving on to the tricep press down. I believe eight to 10 reps here as well. Loving the details I'm seeing in the arms and shoulders. Check out the bicep split. See if we come around to the front here again. That's something that's gonna pop out even more in the upcoming weeks. It's a weird split that kind of crosses my arm there. But loving all the details I'm seeing, just having a lot of fun training. And then we finished off with a single arm tricep press down. This is something that I did with Adam last Friday and really enjoyed the feel of it. Uh, a lot of times I've just been using a uh, different handle on this, like a reverse curl. But this, this feels a lot better. Uh, really comfortable and uh, just great tension on the tricep. So killer workout, had a blast, came home, had two little Hello Dollies and two little Mud Pies. I dipped into the freezer. These are supposed to be saved for Christmas guests, but I couldn't resist myself. So almost two o'clock and then uh, had my post-workout meal, one and a quarter cups of plain Greek yogurt and one cup of frozen mixed fruit. And then quarter after three, had some more snacks, these Triscuits. I had a few handfuls of these. At this point, my appetite started going through the roof. Um, I was feeling great all day long, uh, really pumped up from yesterday here. Dinner, we're having quiche. Um, but I was starting to feel really tired. I didn't get much sleep last night, and I didn't drink much water throughout the day. Those are like a double whammy for me. Um, Whenever I have a lack of sleep or whenever I'm dehydrated, my appetite goes through the freaking roof. So I ended up having four of these little taco shell stuff. Enjoy them. Great little treat. Went and played hockey, came home, and had two of these little dip bars. So not the best day in terms of nutrition quality. Uh, still slight deficit, but not the best choices today. All in all, is what it is. Gonna get back to normal tomorrow.